Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jaitley on your favorite website, which is Muni Meter Health. We are dedicated to teaching you about the human heart and its illnesses. And of course, uh, we are also to the medical fraternity to provide uh, cardiology knowledge right from interns, residents, medical students, and fellows. So welcome again on Muni Meter Health. Without any further ado, I'd like to delve into the subject matter today. The matter of the subject today is, is diet soda good for you? Or is it bad? <laughs> That's a commonly asked question. Obviously, you really want to know. Um, you know, sometimes you want to avoid the calories for the goodness, but then do you buy any other, you know, vices with this? And that's one of the issues that's commonly associated. So there have been some studies uh, uh, in the BMJ, and they've been quoted in um, uh, American journals as well. And people have actually deciphered the following. One, we have um, certainly the sweeteners that come with the um, diet sodas. Uh, they tend to sort of keep the the appetite going because the calories at the end of the day could be higher in amount so that's one of the issues that uh, in the diet perhaps one worries that the weight gain is one of the things because most people say okay well i had a i had a diet soda so i can have a dessert at the end of the day so here you go so the calories are actually plus plus so sometimes you actually start to gain weight so gaining weight is one of the issues here with diet sodas because sweetness uh, you know they send a signal to the chem uh, to the chemistry of the brain and uh, say look you know um, the calories are on the way but the calories are not on the way on the diet soda and as a result the calories need to be uh, fulfilled and that's when that's when the problems arise so you know one of the things that i always say is you know sweeteners are good but then at the same time they're bad because they bring the calories in along with that the second part is some increased incidence of as i said uh, stroke uh, or uh, even uh, heart conditions uh, have been defined and uh, so one of the things that I always say is that sometimes water is a good replacement but if somebody's drinking five or six sodas a day bring it down to two or three and then slowly one and then zero so that may be one of the ways but stroke and heart disease is I'm not sure whether it is totally linked to diet soda as yet but the fact is that there have been increased incidence of uh, stroke and heart disease. Now, you could also say that patients who drink uh, uh, diet soda, they're actually prone for stroke. They may be obese, they may be hypertensive, they may be diabetic to begin with, so they already have heart conditions, so they opt out for diet soda. So we don't know whether it's the cause or the effect here, but if, oh, which came first, the chicken or the egg, as we commonly say for zillions of years. But the fact is that stroke and heart disease has been you know, slightly more prevalent in diet sodas than regular sodas. So that's another issue here. But it's an observation only right now. We don't know whether which is the cause and what is the and which one is the effect here. Uh, having said that, diabetes. Now, a lot of the times uh, patients, uh, you know, tend to have diet soda, uh, especially if they're diabetic because they don't want to put the calories in. Now, if they're not diabetic, that's another issue because the weight gain, as I said, is an issue here at the end of the day, and that, that could be cumulative because over a period of time, that weight gain specifically for patients who are prone or pre-diabetic to begin with can actually turn into a diabetes. So there have been some slight incidence of increment in diabetes mellitus also in patients who are, uh, who are consuming diet soda. So, you know, just a, just a quick uh, nutshell into this. And then, as I said, my schematic, uh, my favorite schematic comes here now. And I always uh, like to end my talk with that. So here it is. Now, here is your heart. And obviously, we are looking at the coronaries here, uh, arising from the uh, root of the aorta. And uh, this is your LAD, that's your circumflex, and this is your right coronary. So, you know, the plaques, and these are the branches that come off here. These are normal branches. Obviously, they tend to intertwine amongst uh, themselves. But the plaques will look like more where you have increased incidence here, for instance. Let's change the color a bit. And uh, so even patients who have coronary artery bypass, uh, patients who have uh, uh, various, um, say, stents placed in, and these are the coronary atherosclerotic, uh, atherosclerotic plaques where the stents tend to be placed in. So diet soda in general has shown that, again, they tend to have increased uh, stenosis and increased uh, atherosclerosis. But again, we do not know whether it's a cause or effect because they, these, are, these, are, these are patients to begin with who are already having coronary artery disease. So they tend to drink more diet soda than the regular, uh, than the people who do not. So that's an issue also. The other thing is uh, it's also been shown that patients, just last one quick point, 
uh, patients intend to lose weight, say somebody who is 200 pounds and wants to get down to 180 pounds, diet soda will definitely, um, you know, obviously it is devoid of any calories, so that will certainly reduce the weight in that setting, as long as it's not being supplemented at the, at the end of the day by increased uh, consumption of calories in the form of desserts and other stuff. So it's very, very crucial. If somebody wants to lose weight, go from regular soda to diet soda initially, or just plain water, and that'll be the thing. Okay, so uh, thank you again for watching Muni Meter Health, your favorite uh, site uh, for uh, ho human heart awareness, where patient education and and medical education is the prime uh, goal here. We are saving million hearts, hopefully, and uh, across the globe we are we are now being watched, and I really appreciate your association. Please uh, do not forget to like the button, and of course send your suggestions, your questions, your comments, and they're most welcome. And I try to answer, or we try to answer at Money Meter Health within 24 hours. Okay, so long, this is Dr.